We have advanced by leaps and bounds in our collective fight against cancer over the last several years. Because of clinical trials, patients around the world are now able to benefit from new treatments that offer improved efficiency, less negative side effects, and increased survivorship rate. And we're here to tell you today about an amazing new trial that was hosted here at the West Cancer Center that saw a 100% response rate. That's right, a 100% response rate, which means the complete disappearance of the treated tumor. So joining us remotely is Dr. Robert Din, the Chief Medical Director at Alpha Tau Medical who sponsored the trial. And joining us here at West Cancer Center, we've got Dr. Noam Vanderwald, who is a radiation oncologist and he's also the Director of Clinical Research Operations here at West Cancer Center. So I wanna thank you both for having me out this afternoon. Um, Dr. Din, I wanna start with you. Just tell us a little bit about what this trial is and what you guys have seen so far. It's really a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. This trial was a U.S. pilot trial which allowed us to bring our DART technology here to the U.S. We partnered with West Clinic and other clinics in the U.S. to enroll the patients onto this trial. We had tremendous success with all patients having a complete response, meaning a complete disappearance of their tumor. Based on this, we're launching a pivotal trial here in the U.S. for patients with recurrent squamous cell carcinoma. I'll also note that we have, based on this trial and others, received breakthrough status from the FDA. That is a special designation showing that the FDA acknowledges that our technology is novel for cancer patients. Well, that's certainly very exciting news. And obviously we do have Dr. Vanderwald here with us as well. And you are part of the team that actually conducts the trials, right? So kind of tell us a little bit about what the trial entails. Absolutely. So. Uh, as Dr. Den had already mentioned, you know, this is a very exciting technology that is a little bit different than what most cancer patients are used to. There's no surgery or chemotherapy involved. Um, there's no external beam radiation involved. Rather, this is uh, placement of these radioactive seeds directly into the tumor. And so uh, it's a pretty simple procedure. Patients come into the clinic. It's an outpatient procedure that's done under local anesthesia. We put the uh, alpha particles into directly into the tumor, and then the patients go home. Uh, they come back in two weeks later, and then we take them out, and that's it. That's all, uh, all they have to do. And then they come in, obviously, for follow-up and, and labs uh, and to ensure that the, the tumor is responding. Wow, so no chemo. Uh, and it's an outpatient procedure. It's an outpatient procedure, that's exactly right. Wow, that's incredible. So uh, obviously you guys are still in the trial phase of this procedure though, so you guys aren't exactly able to offer this treatment you know, worldwide yet, right? That's exactly right. So this is a technology that is relatively new. It has been approved in other countries, but rightfully so, the FDA wants to prove that it, it is efficacious here in the United States, and so the, the first trial that we did was a very small uh, trial looking at feasibility, meaning could, could we do this in U.S. patients? Uh, and not only did we show on that trial that it could be done, but that it was actually, it worked very well in those patients. As you had already mentioned, in the 10 patients that were on the initial trial, all of them had a complete response to the treatment. So their, their tumors went away completely. Uh, which is very exciting, which is why we're really excited about opening up the next trial, which is going to be a larger trial uh, that the company is calling their pivotal trial, uh, which if that one comes back with as good outcomes uh, as the first one did, most likely will lead to the FDA approving this in patients that are off trial as well. Well, as a researcher, you've seen several different kinds of trials. You've done, obviously, a lot of research. Um, but how does this new procedure look to, I mean, completely change the landscape of the way that you guys research cancer? That's a great question. So, um, you know, all research trials, the purpose of the research trials is to understand how new technology, new medications work in a certain population. and will hopefully lead to that drug or new technology being approved for a wider population outside of the trial. Uh, this is, is similar to that in terms of trials, uh, but it's a newer technology that we don't currently have in radiation oncology or in the treatment of skin cancers. And so uh, this, I think, hopefully will lead to another, uh, another weapon in our arsenal to treat cancer and in hopefully a way that does not cause side effects for patients, or at least bad side effects, in patients who have 
already undergone a lot of other treatments. And so this is a, a very exciting technology that will hopefully help a lot of patients in the future. And that's why we're putting patients on trial here at West. Dr. Din, kind of the same question for you. If the FDA does approve this method of treatment, how are you guys going to use this technology to potentially fight other cancers? Yes, once we complete this trial for patients with recurrent skin cancer, we plan to broaden this to all skin cancers. In addition, the DART has been shown to uh, be sensitive to all treatment types for all cancers. Therefore, we actually have multiple trials undergoing currently in prostate cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, and pancreatic cancer, with more on the way. Well, doctor, doctor, I want to thank you both for having me out this afternoon and telling us a little bit more about this new method of treatment that you guys uh, are doing here at West Cancer Center. If you want to learn more about this new trial, just visit westcancercenter.com or alphatau.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.